chaotic morning in one part of Macomb County, an incident inside of a mobile home actually brought Sterling Heights police to the scene and then police ended up shooting one of the people involved. This happened at a home on Bonaparte Avenue near 19 Mile and Van Dyke and Utica all intersect. Larry Sproul has a look at how things escalated. The shooting investigation at this Sterling Heights mobile home park is in the early stages. Police say everything happened around 3.30 this morning, but as you can see, take a look. Police are centering their investigation at that home just down there. They say they're trying to connect all of the pieces together. Neighbors here on Bonaparte Avenue a little confused Monday morning after a police involved shooting hours before. Suddenly I heard four shots fired real rapidly. Chuck Maxson lives just a few doors down from the shooting. He said he heard the gunshots around 3.30 Monday morning. He also heard everything leading up to that shooting. I, I have no clue as to what they were arguing about. As far as I know, there was uh, two or three people out there arguing. I, I did hear a, a guy yelling he was going to hurt somebody. Police responded minutes later. That's when the suspect walked out of the home with a gun in his hand. Sterling Heights Police Chief Dell Jawadakowski said his officers shot him multiple times. When something like this happens, it, it often involves decisions that are made in less than a second. That's the interesting part of it is, you know, always trying to figure out what exactly occurred. A neighbor gave local for this photo of the gun he says the suspect used. Now police are trying to connect the dots to this confusing puzzle. Uh, we're going through and we've talked to quite a few uh, members of the, the neighborhood here. They've been very cooperative with us. Uh, we'll go through, look for you know video, things like that. Now police are still trying to figure out why the suspect pointed the gun at them. Meanwhile, they say the officers involved are on paid administrative leave. That's police protocol. Now MSP will lead the criminal investigation and the Sterling Heights Police Department will lead the internal investigation. Reporting Sterling Heights, Larry Sproul, Local 4.